Give up. Don't follow your dreams. You'll never be anything with your life. Look at yourself in the mirror and go, wow, I suck. You're welcome. This is a note by Kelly Picasso. Leave this in. That is my roommate, Kelly. Oh, hello. Or Kelly Waka Squib Pants. Also a very talented and creative YouTuber. A few weeks ago, I asked Kelly if I could intern for him to just learn his creative process. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? You need to wear some dual excites. It's not there, okay. Got you a triple XL. Today is my first day as Kelly Wakasa's intern. Shall be an interesting day. <sighs> Do it excites. <laughs> wow, good, good, good. You're looking better. So in exchange for a day's worth of my labor. Where's my coffee? I need breakfast made. I need some eggs. Here is a look inside the creative process of Kelly Wakasa. Put some spinach in the eggs. Tomatoes. Put some <laughs> tomatoes in the eggs. <laughs> Where's my halfway cream? Someone needs to put it off there. I was an intern for the day, and you're making him breakfast. Yeah. Alan. <laughs> if you could do the bird method and chew it for me, and <laughs> baby bird. <laughs> How do you prepare for a day of filming? You I just wake do up it? and I film. Well, I have everything planned, at least a broad. Uh, I idea. think you're the only one that does that. I have it in my notion. Want to see? Yeah. Usually I have like a time frame, like 10 a.m. We were supposed to wake up with Amber, cold arrives, breakfast. Usually it's actually more intense than this, but wow. I keep all my video ideas like this. Here you can see like. Wow, that's actually really cool. Like this is my notion. So right off the bat, I learned that Kelly's video making process starts before the cameras turn on. Wow. Not too fast. Wow, that's sick. All yep. right. Thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. <laughs> this video is actually sponsored by Notion. I reached out to them after filming this video because, as you will see, it just made sense. I actually first started using Notion in September of last year. I was creating a digital portfolio, which I was going to use to apply for full-time jobs in New York City. I needed a platform with a lot of flexibility and customization. I personally loved using Notion for my digital portfolio, which I'm still going to continue to build on, especially now that I'm creating and collaborating in more and more content. Now that I'm able to do YouTube more full-time, Time. I really did this internship to try to learn from some of the best in the game. Here are my completed videos. Before I shoot them, I write it down and I make a page. Then I click my page. Sometimes I write a narrative slash thesis, like what I want to accomplish. Intro, how, why, where, when, who. That's what I wanted to accomplish. I'll write my to-do list in there. It's just like how I'm going to make the video. And so a lot of times I just write all the things I'm going to do. Notion's a super handy tool to use to take your own notes, to work with a group of people in a team. It's very customizable, it's very versatile, and it can be used for a lot of things. And if you are inspired by this video to get Notion, feel free to sign up using the link in the description. And also, Kelly told me to tell you Notion that he would love a Notion sponsorship, so please sponsor him as well. I have a theory that creating content is about three things right now. Curating, creating, or capturing. And I'm doing a lot of capturing with my vlogs. Creating is something that Kelly does. I had like a switch in my content where I was just like filming vlogs like kind of like yours or something and like then all of a sudden I was like I wanted to like tell a story inspire someone not that like the vlogs don't inspire because they just like naturally do but like like intentionally do something he puts everything that you see on the screen and it's all kind of purposeful and it's essentially just like the most representative of what is happening in his mind so this is the looking for love video which is a very like story based video I was like, I wanted to make some type of like, almost like short film-esque. So like the ending is very like film-like. I come home, there's like a silhouette of me and a girl and it just ends and I was like, this is like one of my favorites. Just like the storytelling on it. Love is a miraculous thing. I might be a hopeless romantic and I've watched too many rom-coms, but I know what I'm looking for is out there and it's on its way. The bond between people and it. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. I don't know, I just write. When I looked at Kelly's Notion, I was honestly surprised to see how much writing was involved. I personally love writing. I journal almost every day. So I've been trying to think of ways to incorporate more writing into my videos. So I've been asking him a lot about writing recently. How much would you say your job is writing versus just improvising? Writing? Yeah. I never thought about that. I mean... I film for like eight hours when we film a video, like if we film it in one day or if there's more shoots. So I only write. I'll sit on my computer just like thinking of ideas or something for hours. So probably like 50-50. Oh, 50-50.
I have such a great habit of writing down every idea that comes to my head, like either it be on my phone or a post-it note. I feel like I prep a lot and then I get some like nerves sometimes because there's so many moving parts. I'm like, I gotta make sure this surprise works out perfect. I was also intrigued because he took me to a psychic one time and the psychic basically told him that he would become best known as a writer. Writing. Okay. See, that's why your name is meant to be very known. I'm a writer. Remember what the psychic said? Yeah, like that is legit. I like really think that's true. You are a writer. You know, now that you, ever since you said that, I'd like, wow, I actually wrote this. It's kind of nice. I don't mind it. Yeah. You um, are a writer. I think because I just want to tell the best story that I have to write. Because yeah. I never think of myself as a writer. But like, I remember thinking about this ending all the time. And, like while I'm listening to the Ratatouille soundtrack, I was like, thinking of a perfect ending of just like music throughout, just keep building, 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 introduce like, you know, a little comes questions, a little bit more like deeper, deeper, nice sounds, and then like hit them with the ultimate cliffhanger of a silhouette of a person. And they're like, who, the, who is that? And then you hit them with the subscribe. Wow. For Kelly, it's not just about capturing the moment. It's about telling a story and almost creating an experience for the viewer. He told me that he even listened to the Ratatouille soundtrack often in order to get in the feel for the video, the vibe. But I always listen to some whack soundtracks. Not like whack, but... Oh, so you pick your music while you're doing it? No, this is just for fun. Like, oh. I'm listening right now, so raindrops keep falling on my head. Interesting, but why? Usually I listen to Ratatouille soundtrack the whole time. Are you serious? Look, look, swipe back. Wow. I have taken the most inspiration from my videos is from Ratatouille, like the movie. That's the only movie that we had on iTunes movie, so I've watched that like a million times, but I haven't seen it in like 10 years. I literally like listen to this and I speak to myself about it. Wow. Like I can hear the music. My favorite one, my favorite one to listen to, like Lefestine is good, but my favorite one is Anyone Can Cook. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know you're not joking. Like. And I just... You just embody your ratatouille. I killed a man with this thumb. It's like the music just. Oh, this part is so good. It's just. Whoa. I know what I'm looking for is out there, and it's on its way. The bond, be the bond between people, love, comes in shape, size. You know, I have like a narration voice. Yeah, you do. And do I, you have any tips for a narration voice for a narration? Because I feel like that's everyone's like least favorite part. Narrations? Yeah, except for yours. Just like, I don't know, to practice. You don't like, you just do it. Yeah. Like it's not a narration, you're just reading it. Remember how I told you one time about like tonality? Yeah. So like everything I try to say, I try to accomplish something. Nowadays I don't really think of it because I just like read it how it is and just sound genuine. But like, this is all about love and it's kind of like a serious topic so it's more so like a whispering type vibe it's not like love is a miraculous thing i might be a hopeless romantic and i've watched too many rom-coms it's more like love is a miraculous thing i might be a hopeless romantic and i've watched too many rom-coms but i know what i'm looking for is out there and it's on its way you know it's just like different i don't yeah. know but that's just like because i i'm obsessed with what videos um. but i feel like most people just like Read it? I don't know. Yeah. Didn't you watch like tonality videos on tonality? Yeah, I watched like videos on tonality like... You know, you taught me that word. I didn't know that was a word. You're welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll take 10%. <laughs> uh, I, I would just like watch videos on storytelling, tonality, how to speak. I would read out loud. Yeah. From this experience, I learned that a lot really goes into making a good video. Prepping, writing, tonality, and I think as our world becomes increasingly digital, these skills are only going to become more valuable. Let me know which roommate you think I should intern with next and I'll actually intern for them and what I should do for them. Until then. Keep creating, keep doing. That's the best. You hear to her first. Passing the mic off to Kelly, walk a square pants. They end.